Greetings. For those of you who have not watched the video introducing Dr. Penny Wheeler, I am Tom Schreier, and I have the privilege of being the founding director of the Inspired Leadership at Notre Dame and the director for this new series on Think and Be, Inspiring Conversations. I want to sincerely thank you for participating in this series where we will spend the fall semester discussing leading people in an ever-changing world. Our first guest is Dr. Penny Wheeler, the President and Chief Executive Officer of Alina Health, who will be talking about embracing the mind, body, and spirit through healthcare, navigating a mission-driven system through dual pandemics. As I mentioned in the introductory video, I especially look forward to this conversation, as I also have the privilege of serving as the Chair of Alina's this conversation will essentially cover three topics. The first is embracing the mind, body, and spirit as the leader. Second is navigating through the COVID-19 pandemic as a healthcare system. And the third is doing that while also navigating through the pandemic of the lack of racial equity. To cover the first topic, embracing the mind, body, and spirit as a leader, I think it's worth watching the video you can link to from this site entitled Improvement Culture. This video beautifully captures the ability of storytelling and teamwork to evoke massive, sustainable organizational change. It is not just an organizational or intellectual exercise, as you can see. It also involves a holistic mind, body, and spirit approach. On the second topic, navigating through the COVID-19 pandemic, you all know that this pandemic has had a massive impact on many parts of society, including healthcare in a major way, and by extension, Alina. This excerpt from an interview with her on CBS Evening News, where she is interviewed by Ted Koppel with Stanley McChrystal, a retired four-star general who towards the end of his army career led the Joint Special Operations Command, and also Father jo Joseph McShane, who's a Jesuit priest and the president of Fordham University, talks about how she approaches leadership through this pandemic. You can also link to this video from the site. And I think you will see that this captures her values of care, compassion, expertise, and love to lead her organization and community through the pandemic. Lastly, if COVID-19 wasn't enough, on Memorial Day weekend in a now globally viewed scene, George Floyd was killed by Minneapolis police. This event, which catalyzed a broad awareness of the lack of racial equity, literally happened in Alina's backyard. The headquarters of Alina is intentionally in an area where having a meaningful presence sends a powerful community message. In addition, Alina's flagship hospital, Abbott Northwestern, is less than a mile from where the incident occurred. Penny has emphasized to her team and the entire community that these pandemics have many points of intersection. She has not shied away from the clear evidence of racial bias in healthcare as, been brought, as has been brought to light by the pandemic and the need to obtain commitment across the industry to her. She has also emphasized the need for all, including those of us on the board, to reflect upon how we can have a lasting, sustainable impact on why there is still such an equity for black communities and communities of color in general. It takes a great leader who leads with mind, body, and spirit to lead a major healthcare system in normal times, given the importance of the mission and the constant changes that face the industry. It takes a truly special leader to guide an institution in these times. It is my hope that in the conversation we have on September 25th, that you'll have an opportunity to see the power of Penny's leadership. I look forward to seeing you there.